Hello YouTube, this is Don from Dare to Be Creative. Hello, hope everybody's doing well and thanks guys for watching in and tuning in to my channel. This is a haul from Cartridges and More. Um, before I show you that, I have not showed you my dies that I got from time and I forgot before I um, sat down to bring the, the sample cuts, but I, I do it in another video. This is I got this in about, it's been, I guess, three weeks. I have some more dyes coming in. Um, that's from the Wanna Grease Seller on eBay, I think that's the name of it. Anyway, so, um, Cartridges and More website has a surprise box every single month called the um, Treasure Chest. Cricket, excuse me, has the, excuse me, sorry. Cricket has the um, mystery box. And, um, I try to, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, hmm. I try to watch um, Crafts by two other different channels that see what's in it and see if I want to get it. And this month it was $44.99 for six cartridges and what else was in there? Two other things. Um, and I'll show you that. And I decided to get it because I like to get the cartridges. Now, a lot of people think that Cricut still is only run by these cartridges. They're not. They're online just like um, they have the store, just like the silhouette. They have the online. It's called Design Space. But I like my cartridges because um, I own the images. So whether I subscribe to Design Space or not, I have these images. I don't have to pay for them when I go into Design Space if I don't have them. Um, and then I can alter them, you know, if I want to and I can manipulate it. Or I can use it with my expression and um, just cut out the traditional way, stick the the um, cartridge in and do it or go online load my cartridges up then all those images permanently stay there I can manipulate them any kind of distort the image any kind of way I want to weld it together and that was kind of same kind of things that you could the same thing you can do with the silhouette or, or I can do print and cut um, but I get the cartridges like I said because I like to own my images instead of having to keep buying them plus I like to look through the books and the prices that I get them for I get them very affordable I don't Back in the day when Cricut first started, they would be like 80 bucks for one cartridge, you know. I usually try to get mine for under 10, close, you know, 8 to 10 bucks. But anyway, so for $45, you got six cartridges, which is actually really, really affordable. Plus, okay, where the rest of the stuff at work? This month they also gave, um, and I'm sitting right here, I don't even know what to say with it. What? I didn't even, I was videotaping this and then I had to stop. Because my battery went dead and then I had to start over again. And they have, um, where did they go? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Anyway, um, I'm like looking around my room trying to figure out what I moved it to. But they had the, um, a big scraper this month and also some more needles, the deep cut. I mean, that is really weird because I didn't go anywhere. I didn't move. And I don't see them. I don't see them on the floor. I mean, I haven't even gotten up this chair since I was charging my battery. Anyway, I'll get back to the cartridges that you got for this month. So, one of them was a duplicate out of the six I already had, the Suburbia. Um, so, I didn't open that one because I'm going to either sell this or give it away or something like that. And I'll give away. So, but... Real quickly, you can kind of see some of the images. It also has a font on it, but it's 50s. So it's like the images, kind of like the 50s, where you see um, traditional rows, um, silhouettes, and I don't know if you can see that. Um, sock hop, you know, the radio, the vinyl, the coffee pot, the purse, all that kind of stuff like that that looks like from the 50s. And then they have, like I said, the font, and then they also have up here too, some of the sayings that you would say, you know, like daddy-o and those kind of stuff that you said, you know, in the 50s. I don't, I wasn't born in, so I don't know, but anyway. <laughs> so it's got a couple pages of that. So that's that cartridge. That's one of them. The next one is Type Candy Font. And this one, of course, is a font cartridge, 700 images. So, of course, it's going to it have six different types of fonts. And then it also has on this one, not just the fonts, the traditional fonts, six of them, and then they all can be bolded. But they also have script that for foreign languages. So if you wanted to write something with an accent on it in French or Spanish, you know, you have the stress 
syllable. Um, you also have it for um, German with the dots. So, you know, it gives you a couple little bit additional options besides just your traditional font. So it allows you to write in most foreign languages. Now, it doesn't have script for like, say something like Chinese or Hebrew or Arabic. It doesn't have those kind of fonts, but most of the ones that you will write in standard English, but you have to use um, accents marks. They have those, so you know, like that. So anyway, that's that one. So I always could have plenty different fonts for when you're writing. Then um, this is called Cardi Cows. This is a rather old cartridge, and again, but you have to think outside the box. All of these have 700 images on them, which is pretty cool. So these are full cartridges. They're not the, the express ones. But this one has um, a couple of different layers on it too. This one has, if you want to use these for card decals, but you're not limited to that. But they have the outline kind of like you would use for, if you wanted to use some vinyl or clean with your cartridge, with your Cricut to cut out. You can make um, the little kids that look like um, card decals. So it has that, the Cardi Cow image, and it also may have something that you can put on the card and just got some random images and stuff. So, but you can still use these in a scrapbook layout. It doesn't have to be, or even a card, love your mother. You can use a sentiment in a card. It doesn't have to be on a window, but it could be. It's a baby buggy. And just depends on how you layer it, how that's going to look. But anyway, so that's that one, and that's an older cartridge. But a lot of people decorate their car with all those types of images, so that's that one. I won't be using it for my car, but I can use it for other stuff. This one is um, Sentimentals. This is the full cartridge as well. This one, it has some cards up here, tags, sentiments, and different images. And the images and the sentiments kind of go together, most of them. Got postage stamp, um, postcards, beehives, scissors and things like that. So all kinds of different cartridges, I mean different um, items. Kind of you can kind of see, but blurry. And a lot of times when you look at cartridges, you have to really look through it, investigate it, and think, what could I use the image for? And a lot of you be surprised. This one is Days and Dates. And this one, um, I already know what I'm going to do with this one. But this has, of course, the days of the week, the months of the year, different years. I think it starts from 2014 to 2021 or something like that. I think that's what I glanced and saw. But anyway, so many of them in different types and formats of the names and the dates of the months. And the weeks, I mean the days of the weeks and the months of the year, but they're written in different fonts. Vertical, horizontal, in circles and squares, um, in tag formats, all kinds of ways, you know, that you can have those. I am going to do a um, nine months calendar for pregnancy, so I wanted to, I will use that for that. And then also a baby's first 12 months, you can use that for that. If things you want to use a countdown on, you can use this in your planner. You know, for everybody that says into their planner, you can use those. So that's a pretty good one, too. School projects. This one. It's the last one. And this one is called Small Talk Frames and Tags. And this one is a full cartridge. And this has a lot of Polaroids. I don't know how well you'll be able to see them, but it's a lot of little Polaroids with little scenes and stuff you can put around a lot of frames. Um, the little banners that you make uh, for embellishments. I don't know if you can see that too well. Arrows, again, like I said, little banners tag banners and then these are just a whole bunch of hobnobs of different types of items and of course this is not going to give you the best rundown um other items and stuff 
you really have to look through a book yourself but these are a lot of the sentiments i love the phrases and things that you can get from the cartridges and again all of these are online but that's some of the polaroids and some of them inside of the polaroid would say like my sunshine um like this one says love you um different things like that so anyway I thought that was a pretty good deal for forty four dollars. And of course, to get that, you have to get free shipping. You have to buy spend fifty bucks. So I ended up getting there's a clearance and Boston folder. So I got this one called African um, Batik. What is it? B A T I K Batik. I'm not sure. That one. And this is a shell collage. These are all um, cut above. And this is a two piece one. This one's beep beep and bip bip. One's an A2 and one's an A7. Sorry about the glare. So that way by getting those items, I was able to get it shipped to me for free. And then, oh, here it is right here. I fell on the floor behind the back. So this is the other thing I got on. This large scraper for my mat and two deep cut blades. So that came with the cartridges. So actually that's pretty good for six cartridges plus the blades. And like, you know, this is probably like 10, 15 dollars. I don't know what it costs. Same thing for that, you know. And like I said, these first came out, they used to be like $70, $80 for a cartridge. So I only get them when they're cheap like that. But anyway, take care. God bless and thanks for watching and have fun creating. Thumbs up. All right, bye-bye.